Hello there and welcome back. I am severely running out of video ideas. In terms of the origami videos and editing videos, they're absolutely fine. Just the videos in between, in this sort of format, I've got absolutely nothing. So please, if you have any suggestions for video ideas, let me know in the comments. I read every single comment, so if you have an idea and you put it in the comments, I will read it. And if I don't respond, your idea was sh so. But tell me what you want to watch. Okay, so since I can't think of a single video idea and I want this video that you're watching to be relatively useful, I don't want it to be a complete waste of time, I thought, why not just post out the guitar and teach you how to be the best guitar player in the world. That's right. Okay, super pro tip number one. Instead of strumming like this, with, you know, just your nails, your fingers, right? Try doing this, right? A little thingy with your index finger and your thumb, yeah? And then use your thumb, like that. I find you get a lot more control out of it. I don't know if that's normal or you're meant to do that, but I saw someone do it on the cover of the Nice by Avicii and ever since then, my life has changed, oh my god. I mean, maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference, but personally, I find I've got a lot more control. And then it just feels a lot nicer. So, you know, instead of... You're gonna have... Also, this method makes it way easier to, you know, pick the bass line. You see, I was able to pick out the bass line with um, my thumb, whereas in this one, I don't know how I would. So instead of like, you can have, you hear that subtle bass line in the background? It could make all the difference, who knows? Tip number two, use percussion. Well, sometimes you don't want to overdo it and you only want to use it when it's right. But more often than not, using percussion sounds a lot better because it's not just the sound of the guitar. You can add a little uh, bass with uh, this part, of your hand here yeah, this part you're just gonna just whack your guitar pretty much and you can also slap the top string with your thumb to make that sort of clickety clack sound i think it's a hi-hat um for that basically what you want to do is just just twist just just turn your hand but with a little bit more force than you usually would I feel like that should be pretty obvious, although when I remember back on it, it took me a long time to figure out how to do it. I'm sorry if my mic was like hitting against that. So instead of like... You'll have like... I know that's like really overusing the percussion, but I'm making a point like you can make it sound a lot more dynamic using that sort of stuff. Tip number three, four, three, I think. When you're doing finger style, yeah? And what you want to do is, well, if you're sort of beginner or like, you know, not really too comfortable with finger style playing, you're going to put your pinky right. Again, I learned this from a video from this really cool guy, I don't know. I'll put where I learned this stuff in the description, right? You're going to put your pinky on the actual guitar, yeah? You're going to press down. Um, just to rest it somewhere, yeah, to stabilise your hand. Your thumb is going to play the top three strings and then these three that are left are going to play the bottom three. You see? So you're going to have... like that. And they're going to be assigned to those strings and the pinky makes it so much easier to stabilise. Like if you're just playing like this, yeah, whatever, then you're going to find it quite a bit harder to stabilise and if you have your pinky there and then maybe in the future you'll get so used to it you can take your pinky off and then use your pinky to play some str I don't know but you know to start off that is a brilliant tip putting your pinky there um, so if you just have a look so you see in that my thumb was constantly playing the bass because that bass is one of these top three it was just playing that and then I had my pinky on the guitar and then these three the only strings i needed were this one and this one I feel like the camera should come a bit closer right so i'll just play what i was playing before right so 
So you see, my fingers did not move from which strings they were playing, and that was all because of the stabilization from the pinky. If I play like, um, you notice there, wherever my fingers lie on a string, that's where they stay. I'm not moving them up and down strings. I've assigned one to each string and that makes it really, really easy. Fun fact, the percussion that I showed you earlier, where you can slap the top, you can use that in fingerstyle to add a bass line, right? I know anyone who is actually, you know, in a guitar and pretty good at it will already know that, but I'm just saying, as a reinforced point, it will make stuff sound better. So... I think I hit a wrong note there, but anyways, you hear how there's a constant rhythmic bass line in the background. There's, there's one, two, three, four. So if you listen, the distance between those is the same, which can really help you to maintain time enough beat. So if you find a tab or, you know, you notate your own tabs and you find that there's percussive slaps in between the notes, you can use that to base your rhythm. And the same with chords as well. If you keep the percussion consistent, you can keep your playing consistent and you won't find yourself going out of time. I know I said strum like this, but when you're doing percussion, it's pretty hard to, you know. So. And there you have it, those tips will teach you how to be the greatest guitar player in the world. Yeah? Not even the world, the known observable universe. The best! Anyways, I sincerely hope that was useful, I just needed something for a filler video. Not a filler video, but you know, a video so it's not just origami editing, origami editing, origami editing over and over. So yeah, I sincerely hope that was useful, and I'll see you later.